Happy birthday to me. Beautiful day out here. Lee and I were just grabbing some small potatoes and some onions were popping out. Some purple, looks like we got russet in here. And uh, this spotted is called masquerade. Also harvesting some of our garlic. Some of them are massive, look at that one, wow. Um, but overall, it hasn't been that successful of a year because we've only gotten a half an inch of rain. And I had to rely on a lot of watering, which always isn't that consistent. Got some, I believe that's Tithonia. Um, some radish in there that are pretty big. Those are all ready to rock. I think these are a watermelon radish. Not quite sure. Got some golden beets. But I wanted to show you our biggest apples in the orchard. And this is our oldest variety of apple. It's called Duchess of Oldenburg. Just a delicious tart apple. Um, you can see some of the magpies have eaten some of them, but still edible apples. And some of our trees have hundreds of apples on them. And we have thousands of plums that uh, need time to ripen, but you can see here, this Honeycrisp, I think it's a Honeycrisp, pretty good amount of apples, medium size or so, and they're all over the tree. And then this is uh, the situation of the plums. They're just changing yellow now, just yellowing up in there. And those need to become purple. So we got, we got a little bit of time in there. but I had to fix some of the sprinklers. So now a single sprinkler is covering almost one third of this orchard, which is spectacular. Because like I said, it hasn't rained much at all. So this is the bed I just uh, got the garlic out of and we've got about 30 onions we're gonna be storing uh, when those finish in a few weeks here. So maybe we'll do a video on how to store those onions. Oh, what else can I show you out here? Now this variety of apples called frost. You see how the whole tree is drooping over here? Pretty interesting, I haven't tasted one of these. Um, well, we've got something moving over here. Oh, a giant toad. There he is. Biodiversity in the orchard. All this is uh, radish seed and it's daikon radish. You can see how big that daikon is in there. Boom! But can you imagine how much seed this is? Yeah. Over here we got a quinoa, quinoa variety, which is a high desert quinoa and Looks pretty good, it just started seeding. Quinoa takes a long time and it's hard to grow in the desert. But I think we nailed it with these. Also got some pretty nice looking purple cabbages back here. Oh, and there's a cauliflower I missed. You can't get to everything, folks, you try. And in a permaculture orchard, it's about having too much of something and seeing what pops up. So that's the state of the orchard. Our first giant sunflower, that's a Mongolian, is drooping. And the Duchess of Oldenburg apples, well, they look fantastic. Hit that like, subscribe to the channel, share this video with like-minded people and get growing.